Rick and Marty Lagina, and other members of the team arrive on lot 32. Where am I digging? Right here, Marty. Under the supervision of archaeologist Laird Niven, they are about to conduct a larger excavation where Gary Drayton and Jack Begley have found new compelling evidence of an ancient wharf some 200 yards from the remains of a potential encampment nearby on Lot 30. Oh, mate, this is the hole where we dug the iron artifacts out. Got it. OK. I'm going to put the spoils on that side because it'd be hard to push them back from this side. OK. OK, have at it. With all things associated with archaeology, Laird is in charge. But he's allowing us to dig in this area. And Marty's going to take the backhoe and remove the soils gradually. Gary will get in, a metal detect, and Laird will supervise. Scrappy. Are you getting any other hits? Nothing worth investigating at the moment. We do know there's some older stuff deeper. Marty, around like here is the original grade. Ward, do you want to get in the hole? You want to jump in there? Yep. Coming in. I think there's all kinds of stuff in there. Yeah, there is. That sounds like a good signal. Hey, all right. Two-way repeatable. Let's see if it's in pinpointing range. Yep, we're on it. That that's different. Is lead sheeting? Yeah. Is it really? Yeah, that's lead sheeting. Three hundred year old duct tape. Yep. Yep. Or older. Yeah. I think the lead's got something to do with shipping. Me too. Yeah. Lead sheathing found in an area where the team has previously discovered evidence of a wharf, dating back to the third century BC in ancient Greece. Lead was commonly used in the construction and repair of sailing vessels due to its versatility and resistance to corrosion during long journeys at sea. Yeah, that's a nice piece of lead. Mm -hmm. They used to line the hulls of old sailing ships with lead sheeting. So it might actually be a really significant find. Yeah. Could this piece of lead sheathing offer more evidence of a ship visiting Oak Island long ago? I ain't finished yet either. If so, what else might the team find to explain just who was here, when, and what else they may have left behind? Oh, what is that? Any ideas? That almost looks like a handle. Flat iron, some kind of ridge on it. Could be off like a little ship stove. Yeah. I keep digging. It could be more down here. Yeah. OK, coming out. We know that a number of finds on Lot 32 have been associated with maritime activity, i.e. the lead bag seal, wharf pins, ship spikes. Might there be a connection there? Certainly possible. That's the hope. Look at that. What is it? It looks like some kind of tool. Look at this, Laird. Any ideas, Laird? I think it's hand forged. It's just got an old feel about it. Yeah. All of these artifacts we're pulling out of this hole, totally different. If you wanted to prove that something went on, yeah. this is a way to do it. I'm sure we're going to find some more. One encouraging sign with this pile of metal that we're finding on Lot 32 is that Lot 32 is very close to Lot 30, where there is some sort of anomaly. Why are all these artifacts showing up? Oh, a big chunk of iron. But there's still more down there. I mean, every time Gary waves his magic wand, another piece of metal comes out. Oh, this is exciting. You'd do this all day and all night long, wouldn't you? Yeah, I could. The hope is that these are puzzle pieces that help explain what happened on this island. That's the hope. What is that? Well, it's a smorgasbord of artifacts. That's what it is, mate. This whole area has enough metal in it to keep you busy for the rest of your life. Yeah. Can we take another shovel full out of it? I vote yes. <laughs> you can take as much fill off as you want. Yeah. 
This has been an amazing experience. The more we dig in this hole, the more we're finding. It's painting a clear picture that there was a lot of activity on the edge of Lot 32. Look at that cooking pot, mate, and probably a piece off a fireplace. Nice. Just so many pieces. This could potentially be a very important site. How about her? Going in the hole. Find something good, Gary. What's that reading? It's tough to tell on this. Sounded good. Something wedged underneath here. This might be something really cool. Wow. What the heck is this? I think there's parts of a stove here. You think it's to a stove? Yeah, probably. Maybe it will put some of these pieces together. Yeah. Now you're cooking. <laughs> and we're not done yet. That sounds sweet. That's a different sound. Something in this area. That is sweet sounding. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Looks like an old strap. Wow. What is that? A strap? Look at this. What do you think that's a strap to, Laird? Any idea? No. I mean, it could be to a chest. Quite possible. Are these maritime related objects? This is a possible strap to a chest. Well, it certainly fits into the treasure story. The facts are we've made significant finds at a very specific location, and we have the kind of science necessary to try to understand what these items are. And then you can speculate. There was probably a wharf here. Exactly. <laughs> Might help explain some of these finds. Everything's tied together. You just have to keep layering things to derive all the information possible from a site. This has been a, a pretty successful dig. <laughs> it's a mini treasure trove of items here. God, I love this place. <laughs> <laughs>